A Memorial Day tragedy as the body of a teenage boy is pulled from a local creek. Good evening, everybody. I'm Susan Copen. And I'm David Highfield. Ken has the night off. A group of friends in Lawrence County went out for a swim but got into trouble in the water. Tonight, the medical examiner has identified the victim. Kim Gable has the latest. And we do have a positive identification on that young man now. He is 17-year-old Bruce L. Thomas of the Newcastle area. He was pronounced dead uh, there at the scene today. Several departments, several first responders, including Elwood City here on that scene for several hours. A very deep and dangerous area of Conoquinessing Creek with a very unpredictable undertow. And by the time rescuers got there, there was just nothing they could do. This is one of the teens who made it out of the water alive, injured, exhausted, and now mourning the loss of his 17-year-old friend. The two boys and a juvenile girl were swimming in Conoquinessing Creek. It's dangerous, you know, it's, it's, it's not a good place to swim. 40 feet down steep wooded terrain to even get to the water. Rescue equipment, ropes, dive teams, all brought in for the rescue and later the recovery. The female who was down there was able to get to shore the other male was on a rock and had to be rescued from the rock and brought to shore. It's a hell of a climb down, hell of a climb back up. You get sucked down down there, man, it's a 40-foot hole. You get sucked down, you ain't coming back up. Words of caution from a man who used to swim here and from first responders who warn others to just stay away. Find a swimming pool. Don't come down here. Find a swimming pool. Stay away from these waterways. Stay away from the rocks. It's just not worth it. So that terrain uh, so dangerous, so tricky that they had to use chainsaws to uh, cut through some of that area just to get down to the water. And again, uh, the name of that victim has been released, 17-year-old Bruce L. Thomas Jr. of Newcastle. We're in Elwood City, Lawrence County tonight. Kim Gable, KDKA-TV News.